Hello, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my tent. I mentioned in one of my other videos that I have a Nemo Hornet two-person tent. On my first hike, I started with Big Agnes Copper Spur 2, and I liked it a lot. It developed a leak. I did not discover the leak until I was already on the trail the second time. So when I got to mountain crossings, I purchased the Nemo Hornet two-person tent and it served me well. It was quite a bit smaller. They call a lot of these two-person tents, but they really are not what I would call a two-person tent. I, I'm hoping I gave you an accurate shot, but it's really, you'd be really cramped to try to get two people in here. But it's just enough room for me. I can put my backpack at the, my feet, but it's a little bit of a tight fit. If you were taller than 5'2", you'd have a lot of trouble getting your backpack and yourself in your tent, but this is just perfect for me. Now I'm at the head of the tent. It's got this little diffuser pocket. I hope you can see it, but your headlamp can go in here and you can put it so that it's shining down and uh, it diffuses the light so it's not real bright. You really, we try not to shine our very bright lights late at night in our tent so that it doesn't disturb the other tenters because as you've seen in some of my other videos, the tents at the shelters are usually just cram packed in there. We're very close. We can hear everything. If somebody's shining their headlamp, we can see it. It shines in our tent. So it's not a very considerate thing to do. Most of us have a red light on our headlamps, but this is just a nice feature. It's also got this pocket right here where you can put your cell phone and other stuff. So that is a nice feature also. When I set up my Nemo two-person tent about a week and a half before I got ready to leave on this through hike, I discovered that this thing right here was just dangling from the seam tape on the inside so I contacted the company Nemo to see if it could be repaired. They have a lifetime warranty and so I thought well might as well. So I contacted them and sent them pictures and they said this cannot be fixed but we're gonna send you a brand new tent. So they sent me a brand new tent, and this is a newer model of the same tent that I bought. And it has several upgraded features, and I just, I felt really blessed that I got a brand new tent. Nemo's customer service was a dream to work with. The first tent they sent me, I found out these, pull the tent out attach it to the rain fly and it gives you more space on the inside of the tent. The first tent that they sent me, these were sewn in the wrong place on one side. They would not attach. And so I contacted them again and they sent me another tent body trusting me to send in the other tent body that was defective after I received the other one and they sent it in time for me to get it before I had to leave, which I really, really appreciated. It was probably the best customer service I have received in years. So that is one improvement, this little thing that pulls the tent out so that you have more space inside the tent. This, I think it's called a fly bar. This pulls the tent out so that you have more space in the tent. That is an improvement. They call this the Nemo Osmo. It, Osmo is the type of material it is. And so this is a new material. It's not sil nylon like a lot of them out there. And this supposedly sheds water so that the water doesn't soak in to the tent when it rains. Uh, that's a big problem for hikers that when it rains you're carrying a wet tent and a wet tent is a heavy tent so i haven't had to deal with packing up a wet tent yet we'll see how that works but i have very high hopes for this another improvement are these clasps right here 
I believe that you're supposed to be able to do it with one hand. But that is a very nice feature. Another upgrade from the model that I had is this guy line right here. This place to put a guy line in that it pulls this away from the middle of the tent. In the other tent I had, they only had these on the outside. Uh, this one has it also. So the guy wires went in these and pulled to the middle, but it didn't remedy this problem. This is my one major issue with this tent, is that the fly at the head doesn't go all the way down. And I know they're doing that to save weight, and it was an issue with keeping the inside of the tent dry because the water would roll off of here onto the tent, and sometimes it would soak in. But this pulls it off, and so when it drips down, hopefully it's gonna go on the ground. So this is the Nemo Hornet two-person tent so far on my short through hike so far. I've been very pleased with it. It has served me well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I guess that's it for now. Rebound, signing out.